All right, welcome everybody. Um, here's an update. So, for mounting this 500 volt, 15, 75 volt cap, obviously this is way too big. So, what I've done here is I've drilled some holes in this cavity that will allow me to put this cap through like that. I can mount it with a tie wrap, and then I just need to figure out how I'm going to connect these wires underneath. So that's been done. And something else I wanted to show you. When I put in these transistors, here's one of the new ones here, um, you'll see that I didn't do a good job. It's actually raised up above the board. I actually plugged in the amp yesterday and it does work. And I was going to leave it alone and then I thought about it and said, nope, that's not right. It's got to be done correctly. So I'm going to unsolder that and fix it. So let me go do that and we'll be back. Okay, some progress. So <clears throat> I resoldered this transistor back in. It's flush where it needs to be. I've mounted this uh, cap here and I've used the coil method on these wires and what I'm going to do now is dress them up I'm going to tie into this existing bundle of wire and I'm going to carefully lay these on the circuit card I'm probably going to use a bit of hot glue here to hold this wire down so let me get that going, be right back okay one other thing before I continue I'm going to put some heat shrink tube over these um, coil connections okay and we're going to melt that make sure that those connections are isolated properly so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to go dress these, I'll be back. Okay, on the mounting of this cap, um, you see I've got heat shrink tube, and I've got the wires color-coded correctly, so red is the positive, black is the negative, right here. And I've got them run down into this wiring harness here, which is existing. And the positive lead, I have a little dab of hot glue going down into the card in the positive section. So essentially, this new cap is now in circuit as well. So that's done. Um, one other thing I want to cover real quick. So if you recall when we started the series, this resistor was blown to pieces. There was nothing left of it. This cap was charred. And um, I, by the way, I did test these transistors that I took out yesterday. And Q13 was indeed bad. There is a way to test uh, transistors with a multimeter. This was bad. These two were okay. But I replaced them all together. So the theory about what happened is pretty simple actually. Um, any old amplifier from the 70s, whether it be a tube amp or a solid state amp, didn't take into account that you would turn the amp on without a speaker plugged in. So what happens is when you turn the, turn the amp on, there's no speaker plugged in. If the volume is up, you're basically pushing all that power out to nothing. And what it does is it flows back into the output transformer and starts to send voltages that are un unbelievable to components that can't handle it. So I think that's what happened here, is someone cranked it up to 10, turned it on, no speaker attached, and left it on, and was doing something, and it came back and, you know, blew out some components. Now with that said, if that's what happened, there's a good chance that some of these other components may be bad, and I'll have to go through and test those. But based on the fact that I was able to turn this thing on yesterday, with a speaker attached, which is an 8 ohm speaker by the way, and get sound out of it, tells me that that's probably what happened. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn it on again, see if I get sound out of it, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, keep in mind, I'm only going to turn this thing on for a second here. So I've got a speaker connected into this connection here. goes back to an 8-ohm speaker. That's what the amp is rated for. And I've got it plugged into an isolation transformer. And I've already tested it, but I'm going to bring it up to 115. Okay, and we're going to turn this on. You'll hear we got some noise coming out. We also have some sound. Okay, that's all we're going to do for now because we may have other bad components in there. Alright, so uh, that's it for today. Um, now I'm going to spend the rest of my time 
troubleshooting some of these other um, components, make sure they're good. I'm going to replace all of the um, electrolytic caps that are in here, even the smaller ones. I'm still waiting for some of these to arrive, so I need to do those. And that, that grainy, gritty sound that you heard when I turned it on is probably a result of some of these electrolytic caps that are bad. So uh, now we're going to kind of go into a holding pattern for a couple of days. Um, that's all I got. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.